It seems like you have your eyes on the horizon for next weekend for us. That's though. right. Not for severe weather, but for potential winter weather. In fact, it might be our first full fledged winter storm of the season as meteorological winter has only been in session for exactly two days. Begins on December 1st. Here's a look at one of our long range computer models. This wouldn't be until next weekend. So this week, no major issues. It's just going to cool down in major fashion. So our system's going to be developing Friday morning. Here's where Futurecast is going to start in Texas. It's going to draw in Gulf of Mexico moisture year combined with cold high pressure to the north. So that combined is going to produce at least the potential for some freezing precipitation, which yes, includes some snow for definitely the mountains and maybe even parts of the upstate. So here's how it's all going to play out. And this is just a very initial look at the storm six days away. It's going to change here in the coming days. Moisture begins to move into the area in the form of rain Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. Temperatures begin to fall, especially toward the late afternoon, early evening around sunset. And that's when our window opens for that potential sleet freezing rain and maybe even some mountain snow that could even leak into northern portions of the upstate. Temperatures obviously cool down Saturday night as they usually do at night, and that's going to cause even more likelihood for more frozen precip, whether it be freezing rain, sleet or snow in definitely the mountains and maybe the upstate, depending on how cold we get. If we get way below freezing as well as the atmosphere top to bottom, we could even have a little bit of snow of our own mountains. That's looking a little more likely for you than it is for the upstate. But bottom line, the forecast will likely change here in the coming days with the storm or I'm not even having developed yet. There's still a lot of moving parts of this, so it's really important that everyone stay updated. But here's what we know now. Rain, snow and sleet all possible. Accumulating, uh, accumulating snow looking more likely in the mountains, but lighter accumulation at least possible in the upstate. So this is by no means a guarantee that everyone will see snow, but some probably will by the time all is said and done next weekend. So stay tuned to the weather this week as forecast updates itself day by day. Satellite and radar showing really not too much. We had showers, even a few thunderstorms last night that included a little small hail. It was all ahead of this cold front. It's also responsible for bringing all that severe weather to the Midwest. We'll be mild on the south side of it tomorrow, but after it moves through, you're going to feel a pretty impressive cool down one like we saw last week. So yep, going to be feeling like winter again as we know it very, very soon. But we get one more day of it at least tomorrow. I'll show you what I'm talking about on future cast. We stay mild tonight with a steady southwest wind. Tomorrow afternoon we get healthily in the 60s, some 50s up there in the high elevation elevations, but notice Tuesday we're only in the 30s and 40s 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so a 10 to 15 degree drop in high temperature between Monday and Tuesday. By Tuesday night, we're on a little bit of northwesterly flow, bring in some moisture from the Great Lakes could result in a li little bit more mountain snow. This is by no means in any way connected to the system next weekend. This is just a little quick batch of light snow that could impact some of the high ele elevations of western North Carolina, maybe even Asheville, maybe an inch or two of snow at most, but that's going to be about it. You might wake up with a little snow on the ground in Western North Carolina early Wednesday morning. Tomorrow, none of that. We're going to have a decent amount of sunshine, high about 68 degrees. Mountains for you, it's going to be 61. So for those reasons, and no rain in the forecast, decent sunshine, yeah, we're going to give it a perfect 10 on the Carolina Sky Meter. That's probably the last of them we're going to have here in the coming days because that's going to go way down from there into the mid 50s Tuesday, below 50 on Wednesday, and then barely above 50 on Thursday. And that's where temperatures are going to sit, if not drop even more from by next weekend as that winter weather system makes its way through. So we go from 60s to low 50s to upper 40s and stay near 50. But next weekend as that rain snow mix moves through, highs will only reach the low 40s in the upstate and only the middle and upper 30s in the mountains. So again, stay tuned to the latest weather updates from the Fox Carolina weather team this week as we continue to get future updates.